As you know, Kohinoor was one of the most precious diamond in its times. It is very strange that we are using an adjective as a noun. Kohinoor is an exclamation. It's not a name. In 1739, Nadir Shah came from Iran. As usual, looted, plundered. His, he and his followers indulged in rapes, murders, massacres. And finally, Muhammad Shah called it a truce. He invited Nadir Shah, offered him all the wealth that the five rich Mughal generations, generations had accumulated. And when they sat in the fort together in front of each other, Nadisha got the wind that he, he wanted that precious diamond, he had heard about it, Kohinoor, and he got the wind that he, Muhammad Shah had hidden it in his turban. Nadisha was also wearing one. Now there is a tradition that if you become brothers, the brothers exchange the turbans and he took advantage of this particular ploy. And as cunningly as Muhammad Shah had hidden the precious diamond in his turban, he equally cunningly asked Muhammad Shah to exchange the turbans. So the turbans were exchanged, Muhammad Shah could not say no to the custom, to the ritual and diamond came to Nadisha. Nadisha immediately unfolded his turban, found that diamond and the first exclamation that left his lips was Kohenur, which is equivalent to saying, oh my God, or awesome, and then awesome becomes the name. So Kohenur means mountain of light, Ko, mountain, Nur, light. That exclamation finally became its name. That's what I said, an adjective became a noun. Until then, the diamond was not known by any other name other than that it was the diamond of Babar or it is the Babar diamond. 